Let's go. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Santino Brothers Heavyweight Championship. Introducing your special guest referee, Joey Chaos. Introducing first the challenger from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 191 pounds. The Heretic, Ray Rosas! <laughs> and 
Introducing the champion from El Monte, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the Santino Brothers heavyweight champion, the superstar, Jake Atlas. Kathy, this is an extremely personal match. A battle that is for the very soul of the Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy. Jake Out was looking up to his namesake, carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders and around his waist right now. Absolutely, Jake Atlas paying homage to the referee in the ring right there, Joey Chaos, the, the, the owner of Santino Brothers Wrestling. Wrestling with the belt on, a maneuver that Chaos used to do all the time. The confidence that it takes to wear that belt in the ring, the, 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 to know that you're going to exit the ring wearing it still, to let that encumbrance be on you, it, it's such a bold move. And here comes Jake Atlas, right out of the gate. Firing off at the skull of Ray Rosas. Thunderous blows right to the dome. That Rose is on the back foot as he plants his boot right on his jaw. Jake Atlas, fire and intensity, the words of the, get of the day. Absolute. He's got the Chaos shirt on, he's got the belt. Absolute ferocity in an homage to Chaos and to Santino Brothers. Oh! God Irish damn! Whip moves the ring three inches northeast. Ray Rose is left reeling. Set up for a hard shot to the jaw, possibly dislocating it. Ray Rosas, of course. Joey no Chaos trying to maintain order here against Rosas, but Rosas, he is here to, to cause chaos and destruction. I don't think he's going to listen to anything that Joey has to say. Oh, ripping the shirt. Oh, exposing the bare chest and firing away. Disrespecting both his opponent and the referee. Ripping the title from Jake Atlas's waist. But will he walk out of the American Legion Hall with that as his property? You may or may not know, Kathy. Ray Rosas was actually the first person to hold that belt as champion. He is the second ever Santino Brothers heavyweight champion, but the first to have a physical belt in his name. So he, of course, he sees that as his property. Ray Rose is a 10-year veteran. Santino Brothers champion, as you said, from 2013 to 2014. Highly, highly decorated competitor, but now he is just Taking tearing the, apart Jake Atlas piece by piece. Peeling the decoration off of Atlas. Uh, yeah. uh, hey. Ooh. Using his boot for leverage to tear the chaos shirt from Comes Jake Atlas is back. Not a terribly effective weapon, but certainly disrespectful. Chaos will have none of it. Is it, is it more of a psychological weapon, Tim? Getting inside the mind of Jake Atlas. Ray Rosas, the heretic, thinks that he's already in the mind of Jake Atlas. He says that he's been there before. He's been Joey Chaos's golden boy. He's been his chosen one. When Chaos tore his ACL, Ray Rosas was the first person he got back in the ring with. Ooh that he trusted oh. during that time when, when Ray tore his PCL, the first person he got back in the ring with was Chaos. We just saw a cover attempt, but Chaos was rather lackadaisical about going for the count. Atlas was able to kick out before Joey even took a knee. Ray Rose is definitely fighting an uphill battle here. He wants that belt, he wants that championship. He wants to send a message to everybody in this in this room right now. Fuck you, Ray. 
but I think more than anything, he wants to take his pound of flesh from Jake Atlas. Take his pound of flesh from Atlas and really hammer this point home to Joey Chaos. I think if it came down to it, whether he takes away the belt or takes Jake's life, it's a fair trade for Ray Rosas. Jake Atlas did say in the last show that if Ray wanted that title, he would have to fucking kill him for it. And I think Ray Rosas might take him up on that offer, Tim. These two men know the value of that belt more than anybody else. The pride that it inspires. The stakes are higher than ever, oh. Tim, as Ray Rosas... Certainly not acting like stakes is high. Treating himself to a little bit of a liquid refreshment from that audience member. Maybe he feels like this is an early celebration for him. As he takes... Oh, oh Jake Atlas reverses, slams the cranium of Ray Rosas right into that post. Jake Atlas, we're in back. Oh! oh. Atlas is up on that second turbo. Oh. Agile recovery from Atlas, but gets pulled his legs out from under him and eats the turnbuckle face first. This is the first ever meeting of Ray Rosas and Jake Atlas in the ring. They were actually scheduled to wrestle for a different promotion last year, but Jake Atlas decided that the conditions were insufficient for him. Well, like protecting his, his buddy career, I think that that's, that's important. But let's not, take, uh, let's not forget the fact that Ray Rosas and Jake Atlas have been on tag teams together. Maybe I mean, these are things that Ray Rosas has said that he orchestrated to really keep an eye on Jake Atlas, to be able to study Jake Atlas. And that is oh, 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 they teamed at bar wrestling and Ray Rosas says that he made that happen. Ray Rosas keeping a thorough eye on Jake Atlas over the year. And Jake Atlas looking like he took a gash to the forehead. Oh. Ray, oh, oh, just hammering off. Splitting Atlas wide open. Things are not looking good. Wearing his blood like a trophy. Oh. oh. Atlas flopping around. Cover. One. Two. Only a two Only count. Only a two count as Jake Atlas gets his shoulder up from under the careful eye of our special referee, Joey Chaos. Now, our special referee, of course, is the, the owner of the, the school. And I would be foolish to say that he's not very good at his job, but I, it seems like he's not exactly lightning fast on these counts. Oh. Rosas. Oh, Atlas takes a knee and reverses the clip. Catches Rosas in the corner. Oh, shots fired. Beating down on Ray Rosas. Pummeling away. Fury, frustration. Oh, he's oh. looking for the double stop, but Ray clocks him upside the head. Jake Atlas laid out in the center of the ring. Ray goes for the cover. One. A one count. As Ray Rosas was just staring daggers at Joey Chaos. Would that have been a one count on a, on a regular count count here? On the, on the count that matters in this ring, it was a one count. That's right, Joey Chaos' rule is law as the official of this match. He did promise to call it down the middle, so we'll have to take his word for it. Jake Atlas now gains the momentum back in this matchup. Jake Atlas, who just recently made... Oh! Oh, and I spoke too soon as well. Oh, Ray Rosas looks like he's about to just tear open the forehead of Jake Atlas. Working the weak point. Once you see the red, go at it. It's like fighting a video game boss. Uh, it's, it's a solid strategy for the heretic Ray Rosas as Jake Atlas tries to crawl his way to his feet. Rosas now taking his eyes off of Atlas and fixing them on Joey Chaos. Rosa certainly taking umbrage with our official. Looking for that aisle driver on the apron, but Jake Atlas looked like a bit of tug of war there. Ooh, ends a curry on the apron. Catches a dazed Rosas up. Oh, wow! Rolling Death Valley driver right on the corner of the ring. 
Big Atlas as he struggles to recover at ringside. Just recently made history as he was announced for the Battle of Los Angeles for PWG, the first openly gay entrant for that competition. That is correct. Jake Atlas has had a hell of a past couple of years. He has been a shining example of everything that the Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy is proud of. I mean, 2017 SoCal Rookie of the Year, PCW Ultralight Heavyweight Champion, a double champion at APW, both the Junior Heavyweight and Universal Heavyweight Champ. There is nothing but promise and, and glory in the future for Jake Atlas if he can survive this match. That's a big if, but Jake with the cover, hooks the leg, only a two count for our current champion. Both men struggling to get back to their feet. The intensity of this match growing and growing. As Atlas bleeding out. Oh! Big slap to the face. Disrespectful, take my name out of your mouth slap. Jake wrenching. Oh! Ray by the hair, but takes a big strike from the heretic himself. Rose is giving Atlas the jelly legs. Both of these competitors seeming a bit worse for wear. Oh! As Jake drags Ray down by the ankles. Clever move from the champion, dragging Rosas out to the outside. Clear a path, everyone. Into the crash zone. Oh! Oh! oh. Rosas reverses. Oh, Atlas! Swings With through! Outside tiger faint kick. Amazing. Jake Atlas fueled by the passion, the fury, that title, this score! And here he goes. Oh! Interrupted! by a well-placed super kick, stopping the suicide dive. Here comes Joey down for the count. Oh! 2.5 on one of those slow rolling chaos counts there. Chaos is serving as the authority in this ring. He is the official in charge of the action and what he says goes. But doesn't stop Ray Rosas from taking some serious points of contention. Ray just beating on the hamstring of Jake Atlas, trying to weaken those legs. Drops a knee on the, on the thigh of Jake Atlas. The heretic wants the pride and joy of Santino Brothers himself. Now seeing what Jake Atlas stands for. Oh, oh. brutal attack on the knee. Driving his knee, separating the musculature of Jake Atlas, who is just writhing in pain. Oh, and Ray still hard at work on that right leg okay. of Jake Atlas. Sorry to interrupt the flow of the match, but we have a parking situation. If anyone is in a black Honda Accord with the license plate 5MTU087, black Honda Accord 5MTU087, your car needs to be moved ASAP. Thank you, and now Ray Rose is wrenching the ankle right off of Jake Atlas's right leg. Jake Atlas, that guttural cry of pain, but he is just, he's, he's still alive. Joey Chaos is asking him. He is reaching for the ropes with all of his might, trying to gain some, some distance, and he oh. makes it to the ropes to break that submission hold from Ray Rosas. And Chaos gets handsy to break up the hold. Ray Rosas, not letting, not letting him go for himself. We know there's no love lost between Ray Rosas and Joey Chaos. Rosas has to feel outnumbered here. <laughs> but of course, he brought the cavalry with him last month and earlier tonight when they attacked Slice Boogie and caused Joey Chaos to become the guest referee in this match. And now Ray Rosas stays focused on, those, on that knee. Oh, no. Still staying on the back of Atlas's legs, keeping him from standing. Jake Atlas struggling to find his breath, to find his footing after taking repeated assaults. Looks like he can't put any weight on those legs right now. Oh. Rosas, again, just disrespecting Atlas. Oh! 
That's at least three. Oh. Counts as spinning tonight. Oh, and again to the knee. Jake Atlas wailing now in the middle of the ring. Clutching the, just the Atlas shins. It might have been shattered. You gotta be careful with those knees, especially when you're running a high-flying luchador style. If your knee gives out, that could be your career. Ray Roses is trying to end Jake Atlas, his reign as champion, his career in the ring. Ooh. But Jake Atlas firing back enough momentum to take Ray Roses into the pole and out to ringside. Absolutely launching Ray Roses. So much power remaining in that leg to catapult him like that. Looks like Ray Roses is being cut open as well. Those corner posts, you've got to be so careful around them, Kathy. They look like they're rounded off at the edges, but they are not. If you come at them at 25 miles an hour, you will bust yourself wide open. Well, it seems to be the situation with Ray Roses, who seems to be a little shaky on getting to his feet at ringside. Anybody in the front row gets blood on their clothing, I'm, I hope you pay your dry cleaning bills. Jake Atlas hanging onto the ropes for dear life, trying to get some strength underneath him. Chaos counting up to seven now. Rose is trying to get up to his feet to get back in the ring. So many years of history in this ring. Oh, it's great. It's a huge Atlas. area after Larry from Jake Atlas. Atlas now with the power. Oh. Rosas tries to catch him with a boot, and it ends in Gurry to the back of the skull. Jake Atlas with the grace. Oh, and he's caught, but escapes with the backflip. The agility of Atlas on displays. He lands on his feet, spears Ray Rosas. Topsy turvy. One, two. Oh. They were. I thought that could have been it. The way they collided right there in the middle of the ring and spun out. I, I thought that Ray Rosas was done for. That was like a car wreck in the middle of the ring, Rick. Right? Ray just laid out flat. Jake Atlas finding the eyes of his teacher, his mentor, this special guest referee, Joey Chaos. The years of history in this ring, Ray Roses exiled from Santino Brothers around 2015. That tension is built up over time. Oh, cannot complete the maneuver. Roses escapes and reverses. Jake goes up and over. Oh! Double knees right to the rib cage. Right in the kidneys. Oh! And one more announcement. One, two! One more announcement for that Black Honda Accord 5 MTU087. Your car is being towed. Black Honda Accord, your 5 MTU087. Your car is being towed. Some unfortunate news for the driver of that Honda Accord and some more unfortunate news for Jake Atlas who cannot put away Ray Rosas. Jake Atlas searching within himself, trying to find the strength to put away the heretic. Looking into the eyes of Joey Chaos. And the heretic, Ray Rosas, as you said, exiled about four years ago after putting his blood, sweat, and tears into the Santino Brothers school. And he returned last month with his four or three companions. And they feel like Santino's has upgraded since they left, but it's on the skeleton of what they built. Oh my goodness! Oh my Jake god! Atlas with that reverse run of collision in the middle of the ring. Oh! A lariat takes Jake Atlas upside down. Rosas now feeling it. He's jabbed. Oh! Pop-up cutter! Shades of Joey Chaos in the ring. And it... Oh! And a cutter to oh. oh. Jake Atlas clearly sending a message. One, Chaos, two. looking at the shoulders. What is he? Ray, the count is stopped break. by a rope break. That Gonzo bomb. Shades of Joey Chaos made popular as well by Brody King, another Santino Brothers alum. Jake Atlas thought that he, he could use his master's old tools to finish the job. A Gonzo bomb. So close and one rope break so far. Jake Atlas trying to find that last bit of energy within himself. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. 
what is it gonna take, Tim? Holy hell. Both these men just look like exhausted, deflated. Both of these men have been through a war so far in this ring. And I feel like we have miles to go before we sleep. Jake, Jake up send them up. up. Oh. Oh my God, clear path! Oh, suicide dart! The tope in goes three rows deep in those chairs. Jake Atlas, a man on fire, incensed. Oh, stopped by the big boot. Oh, oh my goodness. Goes for the cover, one, two. two. Oh, Jake Atlas, shoulder up just in time. Joey Chaos. Too happy to attest to the fact that his shiny star of Santino Brothers got that shoulder up. Ray Rose is now racking his brain as well. What does he have to do? What more does he have to inflict upon Jake Atlas to walk out of here, the Santino Brothers champion, to wear that title once more? He's come so far, and I think if he goes home empty handed, he will not know how to live with himself. He has to do it now. Do or die, he has to put up or shut up here at Santino Brothers Wrestling tonight. Looks like he's got bad intentions going up to the top. Climbing his way into some dangerous territory. Jake Atlas Ooh. snapping a kick to the back of the skull. Extremely high end Ziguri from Atlas. Got Rosas on the ropes. Standing that hand. To the disgraced face of Ray Rosas. What do we have in store? Holy oh. shit! Oh, oh. oh Ray rolls through! Watch out! Oh, oh no! no, no, no. Oh. oh my god! Ray hooks the leg! One! Two! two. Oh, oh my goodness! That was dangerously, dangerously close! 2.9917. Extremely close. Just nanoseconds away from a loss for Jake Atlas. Tension so high already, Tim, and, and Ray Rose is just, just screaming at Joey Chaos after that, that count. I keep sitting down and standing back up. I just cannot stay motionless for this match. It is keeping everyone on the edge of their seats to the point that we're just bobbing up and down. Just forget the edge. I don't even have seen Who needs no an edge? <laughs> this match is razor sharp. Who needs an edge? <laughs> <laughs> Santino Brothers Wrestling has come so far. It started in Rico Dynamite's backyard. Ray Rose says here from so early on, helped build it piece by piece, brick by brick. And he's looking to reclaim what he thinks is his. That's Santino Brothers Heavyweight Championship. Last time he wore that title was five years ago, and he's got a taste for it once more. He's got Atlas set up. This could be it. He, oh. Oh, Atlas. Fights his way out, but takes a back elbow. Ray Rose is, oh. Race lock into a German. Ooh, super kick to stop the charge. Jake Atlas shaking on his feet. Oh, oh. Atlas catches him. Up in the, oh, adios amigos. Ray Rose's That's soft racist. finisher hooks the leg, two. Oh, oh, both legs hooked to no avail. That's the, the utter disrespect of using Rose's own move against him. Cannot finish the job. Maybe the whole time Ray Rosas was scouting Jake Atlas, Jake Atlas was also picking up some tips from Ray Rosas. It's a two-way street, pro wrestling. When you face your opponent, it's like looking into a mirror. You see your best and worst parts reflected at you. And these two bizarro mirror images of each other, the past and the future colliding once again in the ring. Full circle. Full circle in this squared circle. These things happen in cycles. Words exchanged between Joey Chaos, Jake Atlas, as Ray Rosas looks on. Are they words of encouragement? Are they are they are they hints? Tips? Jake Atlas they, belly, oh, oh. oh! Ray Rosas puts chaos life in the balance. It comes up oh. oh Jake Atlas sacrifices himself to protect chaos. Absolutely. 
The nobility of Atlas might come to an end. Oh my goodness, LGBT DDT! Hey, LGBT DDT on Jake Atlas! Payback for the Adios Amigos. And now he's got his own. Adios Amigos, oh my goodness, this is probably real. Ray, the leg. Two. two. Oh. Oh. So very close. Tim. <laughs> oh my God, Tim. I am, I am sweating profusely and that's totally normal. But now it's cold and I think that's because of this match. Oh, Tim, I thought we were, I thought we were about to see that title change hands and fall into the clutches of the heretic Ray Rosas five years since he's held that belt. That would indeed be dark times to come if Ray Rosas walks away with that. An uncertain future lies ahead for Santino Brothers. Can Jake Atlas keep the title at home where it belongs? Can Jake Atlas walk out of this match Period. alive? Yep. Period. We've, we've been shown there's no there's no depth to which Ray Roses won't sink. There's there's no heights to which he won't rise. He just hit the LGB DDT on Jake Atlas, Tim. These two men are disrespecting one another. They there is no love lost at all in this ring. Roses wants to finish it. Dragging Jake Atlas to his feet. Lenny's in the corner. Ray Rose is propping him up. Something him with another strike to the face. Ooh. Again, keeping Atlas just dazed and confused and stupefied. Oh boy. Oh god, no. Oh, it's like that part in a horror movie where you just say, no, 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 no. And they keep opening the door. Oh, oh my goodness! DDT onto the top turnbuckle. LGBT. LGB DDT! Can he make the cover? Gets over oh the wall. And again, the invaders. Jake Allen is fighting them all off. Clearing hell. Oh. Taking Joey Chaos out in the process. Jake Atlas, when he was just a tornado of action, didn't see, didn't assess the threat properly and clocks Chaos with a super kick. A whirlwind of emotion and action and kinetic energy from Jake Atlas. I am deeply but upset. Oh, oh no. Oh, golly gosh. Oh, He hits the leg, but Chaos still looking for his glasses. Sees the cover. One, two. Oh, oh my god. god! After taking a chair shot to the face, and my Jake Atlas kicks out! And my heart starts beating again. Jake Atlas is not ready to give up the Santino Brothers title. He's not ready to give up. Period. Holy smokes. My teeth hurt watching this. I don't know what's happening, but physiologically my teeth hurt from this. The other intruders gathering their wits at ringside right. try to come to the aid of Ray Roses to give him the upper hand in this title competition. Atlas miraculously cleared out the riffraff. Now Chaos with some questions about the evidence left over in the ring. Wow, Ray, Ray Rose is getting a little handsy with our official. Hands exchanged. Oh, oh, laying hands on the referee, holding Why a chair is a bad God. idea. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Atlas. my God. No, 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 no. One, two. two. Reluctantly free. Here is your winner. And new Santino Brothers heavyweight champion. Hooray! Also!